Hey guys, what's going on? Reborn here, obviously, doing Lone Survivor. It's a Jasper Burn game, or Byron, or I'm going to say it's Burn. So anyway, Lone Survivor, uh, with Pokemon Fire Red coming to a close, I know I'm still doing I'm still doing uh, Mario and Resident Evil 4, which I will eventually get back to, uh, and Mario and Super Mario RPG. Uh, this is a game that I found out about, like, probably a month ago, and I definitely want to... It's definitely one of those things that's interesting because it's supposed to be kind of like a psychological, like, thriller, horror, mystery story type of thing. I guess, I guess it's really short. It's an indie game. It's only supposed to be a couple of hours, but, you know, no big deal. And I, I like the, the uh, pixelated art style, so definitely going to get into this right now. And I'm going to have to do everything on a keyboard, which is okay. I mean, earlier I tried, I did maybe the first uh, three minutes of this game. Just to get a feel for it, and to see if my Xbox controller would work, and it's not. So, yes, erasing current game. And so it begins again. Yes, it does, even though we haven't really done anything with it yet. But that's how it goes. My name is, and we can skip it, but I'm not going to. Not important anymore, I guess. Used to know how long I'd been here. Now I've got no idea. Been a while since the outbreak started, that much I know. Hold up with the sound of those things outside. Monsters, I guess you'd call them. As far as I know, I'm the only one left. The lone survivor. Hot damn. So it's like a... It's kind of like a twist on a zombie... It's like a zombie apocalypse type of thing. So anyway, which uh, games like that I, I truly love. So can't go on much longer though. Almost out of supplies. And if there's any more, if there's anyone else alive out there, I need to find them. If nothing else, I don't want to die alone. That's just sad. I mean, no one, no one really wants to die alone in the first place. But man, that's tough shit, dude. That is tough shit. So. Finally get some in-game, uh, some gameplay going. Okay. Head on over. Hey! Interact. Let's look at the armchair. It's just an armchair. Right? Cup of coffee. Looks like a double espresso. Ha! Huh. I'm used to making those at my job. Isn't that great? You didn't know, now you do. Drink the coffee! Yes. I'll drink the coffee. Sweet. Lovely. I know. What the fuck is going on? I think I can hear something down there. Oh, this is gonna be great. I really do like the uh, the creepy atmosphere. It's really, really good, and the music sets the tone really, really well. So, what's going on here? Wow, okay. What the fuck is that? It mean, clearly... It either can't see me, I must be out of its range. It doesn't look like it has any eyes, though, so maybe it detects by something else. Maybe it detects by sound, maybe maybe it just has poor sight. Um, let's see, okay, I could hide here, and then now oh, I can move. I can move along while hidden. I'm pretty hidden, but uh, if anything, that bright white mask that I'm wearing kind of gives me away, but I guess it must have a limited range of vision, and what have you, so let's go through the curtains. I might as well go through. Hey! Let's talk to her. Uh, hey, girl, woman, whatever, what's going on? Hello. What are you holding there? And you just seem like something weird. Hello. If anything, she'll probably be like a monster, like maybe she'll be like a jump scare or something, or maybe she'll just... I don't know, disappear, who knows. Are you okay? What's that you're holding? It could be useful. Are you gonna talk to me, or...? Nope. Just disappear. Okay. Awesome. I got some kind of pocket flashlight. Let's try switching it on. What the fuck? Alright, day one. Damn, my head. Got a pounding headache. Damn night terrors. No better than the days. Yeah, apparently. Well, good morning, flashlight, old friend. 
it's time to face the outside world. I, do I have, like, unlimited battery for that thing? Usually in games like this, it's like, oh, your flashlight's like, running out of battery. Pick up green pill. I got some kind of green medicine. Uh, alright. Let's, can I, can I look at it? Let's look at some kind of drug, I think. Great. Well. That told me a whole lot. Okay, so we do have a percentage on our flashlight. Look, look at. I wouldn't get far without this puppy. So, it does, yeah, it does have battery life. Like I thought. Let's see if I can get anything. We, the survivors, praying for... ...in 203. That's all I could get. Hmm, I wonder if I should head for 203 first. Maybe there's someone alive in there. Possibly. It's in the cupboard. There's something written on the door in the faint chalk. Let's read it. Okay, let's see. Ah, controls. Haha, -ha, they are good. Interact with X. Uh, toggle C for weapon. Walk inventory, open inventory, all that stuff. Okay. To save your game, use your bed. F for flashlight, toggle R for quick reload. Well, I'm going to have to remember that because these keys are kind of spaced out weird. And enter for map or M. Mm -hmm. Expert mode. Why? Why would I do that? Okay. Drink health tonic is three. Place rotting meat. Wow. Okay. That's two. Ignite flares one. I'm probably going to forget about that. Let's open the door. Let's let's head out. Look at the coat. I have a feeling we're going to be investigating a lot of shit. I don't know whose that is. Ooh, we got a battery. Sweet. We're going to need that for our handy-dandy flashlight. Look at shoes. These aren't mine. No, they're not. Um, sure. I don't see anything special. Wait. No, that's going to be great. Feels like it's trying to draw me to some other place, but it doesn't know where it wants to be. It wants that to be O. Okay, it's locked, and... Oh, okay, so it's clearly on the other side. What about here? What's this? Uh, front door key, sure. 206, so that's where I left it. Yep. Use the... What do I do? If I sit down, I have a good enough... I'll sit down if I have a good enough reason to, okay. But what's that smell? Even with my mask on, it's making me dizzy. Oh, great. Um, sure. Must be that rotting meat they, they were talking about. It's piles of rotting meat. Oh, great. I'll take six pieces of meat for now. It's the most I can handle. Awesome. What about the handy-dandy stove? I don't remember it happening, but it's run out of gas. Fuck. Well, that sucks. Hmm. There's some kind of cat plush on here. Sweet. Cat plushy. I'm down. Uh, diary page. Can we read it? Let's, uh, okay. Faded old piece of paper with a childish scrawl. Okay, let's, uh, let's read it. Reads. I can't trust any of them anymore. Any of those bastards could be diseased. There's only one way to survive this, and that's to put a bullet in every last one of their heads. We all know what I'm saying is the truth. Let's not try and deny it anymore. I'll be waiting with the survivors. There's a name at the bottom. Draco. I don't know the person who wrote this. I'm more interested in the other survivors, if there are any. Oh, that's just... that's kind of a sad existence. Okay, so... oh, that's locked. So we can't even go out that way. Awesome! Oh, that's... we already... we already did that. So, I can go back here and use the fire escape, I think. Oh, it's locked. I need a key to... fucking shit. Are you serious, man? What about here? Can we unlock this now? There we go. I'll get rid of it now. Okay. I should probably get some sleep before I go out there. I don't want to forget what I'm doing. Okay. I guess we'll get some sleep then. Alright. Use the bed. Let's use the bed. I feel like I've had a past life, and if I sleep, I'll forget about it. Let's sleep anyway. I think it's too late for that. I won't be needing you, Light. Nope. Sure won't. Alright. Day two. I feel a little better. Yeah, I guess you can... as better as you can feel after waking up day to day in a zombie apocalypse, right? Or a monster apocalypse. I totally did not know what that said. 
Well, at least we got uh, we got the map here, so I guess we can use the map now. Looks like something's already marked on here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. So that's the special room, 203. That's where we need to go. And I'm the blue dot. That's the bed. A mirror. A mirror must be a way to teleport between locations, so that should be interesting. Alright. That was... Is that Chie? Does that actually say Chie? Oh man, talk about that. That brings back memories of Persona 4. That was Chie's place, wasn't it? Why would anyone mark it on here? I'll try and make my way there anyway. Yeah. We will do that. Alright, let's close out the map and... Oh yeah, that letter that was pinned to the map. Let's... Oh shit. Might as well read the letter then. I hear footsteps. That's not good. Don't set off without a map. Even if you do know your way around, things keep changing, you see. By the way, I think I have a way to get past those things. I worked out they're attracted to the stench of decay. When I'm having trouble getting past them, I'll leave some rotten meat down to one side of a hiding spot. Then I can hide as they come towards me. It's best to avoid them, you see. There's no signature on it. Awesome. Well, let's turn on our handy-dandy flashlight. Wait, I can hear something down there. I'm not taking my chances without a gun. I'm gonna switch my flashlight off and try and sneak past. Awesome. Let's hide. I'm waiting for one of those things. Come on. You're around here. I can fucking hear you. It'd be great.